what is the realistic asking price for Trey Lance? Here's the context. If he were in the draft, you could argue he could be picked fifth of the quarterbacks, probably after those top four, because they've all played recently and they're younger. No, they're not. Three of them are younger. But right before Hooker, Hooker's 25. He has a torn ACL. You could argue Trey Lance, even with his layoff, would be you know a high second round pick, maybe a late first round pick. But he's not in the draft. You got to trade for him uh, on that deal that's paying him like ten million a year, and he, you've already missed two years of his rookie deal. So that affects it too. Also, he's he's been injured. So what do you think the realistic return would be for Trey Lance? I mean, I think a realistic asking price is to say, hey, I'm I'm not taking anything less than a second. I'm sorry, I'm just not. We believe in this kid. We're willing to let him compete. We need quarterbacks. I'm not giving him away for anything less than a second. Now, that may not be what you get. A realistic offer may not be a second, mm-hmm. but I think a realistic asking price is is one second round pick. I think that is totally realistic, totally fair. I'm not saying you get it, but that that's what I would be asking for, and I probably wouldn't budge mm-hmm. off of that. Fine. Then you know what? Get to learn to love Trey Lance because he's going to be hanging around for a little while. I, to me, if if I were a team that were looking at Trey Lance and I was thinking, I want to buy low on Trey. I like Trey. I believe in Trey. The Niners are, are blowing this. I wouldn't offer a second round pick this year because I think it's hard to justify asking for that when he really hasn't played in three years. I mean, there's no precedent. You can't show me a guy who started f- five games in three years, including college. And then getting a second round pick like right off the bat, what I would say is, I'll give you a, a fourth this year, and I'll give you a conditional next year that could yep. become a second if he starts X amount of games. And yep. then the Niners have to decide, well, okay, if I send him there, is he going to play? Because if he doesn't play, then that conditional is, you know, shit. So uh, I don't know what are they going to, to me, they can ask for whatever they want to ask for, but if they're really going to trade him, they're going to settle for a third maybe change maybe they could maybe they get a third this year maybe maybe that's i don't see him getting a second that's exactly what i was going to say is if i'm a team that is offering that's exactly what i would offer i would say i'm going to give you a fourth this year i'm going to give you a third next year that that can be be a second second if he starts 10 games for us or whatever that number Mm -hmm. is and i think that's totally fair if if that's as a counter offer i think that's fair but if i'm the 49ers i'm saying i want a second because if I trade this guy for a fourth round pick this year and a fourth round pick next year, and I spent three firsts and a third on him, especially if if I'm looking at the situation and saying, oh man, he actually could play where we're trading him. And if there's any outside chance that this kid could turn out to be good, it's going to be really, really ugly for us. So True. I need a second. <laughs> Yeah, but think about it from a team's perspective. Like, you can't offer that second. You could, because this is what you could do. You could say, I'll offer even a third. You could say, I could, I could offer this third for Trey Lance, or I could draft Dorian Thompson Robinson. And with that, it's like, he's so much cheaper than Trey Lance, a salary cap hit. He's like nothing against the cap. He's, he's not younger. He's not younger, but he's got the full rookie contract. He doesn't have a broken ankle. There are reasons to say, you know what, instead of doing that with Lance, I'll just bring in Dorian Thompson Robinson and do that. So that's why I feel like it's going to be tough for the Niners to get even a third this year. I think they got to do the fourth and conditional next year, which again, which is also risky because, I mean, you now you got to send them to a team that you think is definitely going to play him. And which team is that? You can't guarantee that. He's going to compete with someone, and right. they don't think he's going to. I mean, some people in the organization don't think he can win any competition, right? I don't know. So what are you going to do? I I don't th- I just don't see the reward. It seems like such a small reward. You might get a a mid to late third this year. Wow. Super yeah. Bowl, that'll be the difference between a, a NFC Championship game and a and a Lombardi. There it is. Pick 84. Yeah, well, especially if you got to draft another quarterback. Like how crazy would it be? Let's walk through this scenario. Let's say let's say they do get a late second. We'll just throw that out there. And then they're like, okay. "Well, we really like DTR." And we think that he's a early third round guy. We're, he's not going to fall to us. We'll just draft DTR with the same pick. God, like I could see the 49ers doing that. How crazy would that yeah. be? Well, I mean, he is cheaper. He, is, has, he has the full rookie contract. But again, I keep going back to guys, you spent 
three years worth of first round pick. Like Trey Lance is your first round pick this year. Yeah. This year. Like you have yeah. you're about to draft him again in, in eight <laughs> days or whatever. You're yeah. gonna do yeah. that. Yeah. And he's only had four starts, and you're gonna trade him because Brock Purdy is so special. Like, A, you don't know that. B, he's hurt. C, it's organizational malpractice for any reason to trade a top three pick after four starts unless uh, he's in jail for life. In which case you can't trade him. Could you imagine? They draft Trey Lance with their first round pick this year. <laughs> and they and trade then him. And then by day two, they're like, you know what? We'll just you trade him what? for we'll just trade him for a round three pick. It's you know, we changed our Genius. minds. 